Hi friends! Welcome to another adventure with fantastic first grade frogs. Today you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about seeds. Growing, growing seeds. I think maybe because it was a little bit nice this weekend and I got out in the sunshine and I started thinking, it's almost time to plant seeds. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. So I have a book today called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. The author's name is Kate Messner, and the art in this book was made by Christopher Silas Neal. They have some really nice end pages, don't they? They show a whole bunch of things that might grow in your garden. Pumpkin, tomato, <clears throat> cucumbers, beets. Up in the garden and down in the dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Now you can see, friends, in this picture, there's still a little bit of snow and a little bit of ice, but the person that's talking to us, the, the person in the picture, is thinking about planting. And we always start before the snow melts or just after it melts, like today when we had a little bit of snow. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Wow, look at all those nifty critters that are down in the dirt, starting to get it ready. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So they're fertilizing their garden, putting things in the garden that will help the seeds grow better. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Now you might know a pill bug as a roly-poly. We're gonna talk about them later, but they are down in the garden too, aren't they? Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm, hornworm rests, waiting for wings, and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. See, now they've traced furrows. That's a little ditch, teeny weeny little ditch in the ground. And that's where they plant the seeds and then cover them over with soil so they'll grow. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt and sun so strong even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tumble deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. So while she's getting hot in the sun, the earthworms are down under the earth, making long tunnels and staying cool. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! She's watering all over the place. Even the robin and its nest are getting wet. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. And we can see down in the dirt, the water is going down to all the roots of the plants so that the plants can grow better. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Aphids are teeny tiny bugs that eat plants, and ladybugs like to eat the aphids that harm the plants. Nana crunches on green beans. 
I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Now we might not think a slug is very scrumptious, but a robin does. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. So the skunk is doing a good job picking the bugs that might harm the plants. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers. Ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Garter snakes are, are good for gardens, too, because they eat bugs that might eat the plants. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange, and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb we weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight, because she'll catch some moths in her web and have them for dinner. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Remember, harvest means that we're picking the food that has grown in the garden. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we left, leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. And everything is getting ready for the next season. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Remember, autumn means fall. So this is the time of year when everything's starting to go to sleep. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter, but the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. And that's the end of our book for today. Now, the monkey and I would like to plant some seeds, but before we do that, let's just take a look at how seeds grow down in the dirt. This little book is called Seed to Plant, and it's by Melvin and Gilda Berger. A seed can grow into a plant. Some seeds are tiny. Now friends, this is a picture of a strawberry seed. So on the side of a strawberry, those little tiny black marks are seeds. Those teeny weeny little things are seeds and they can grow strawberries, plants. Some seeds are very big and you can see this kid has some really large seeds he's carrying. It says seeds come in many sizes and shapes. You put a seed in the ground. A little plant starts to grow. Most seeds contain food to help the new plant grow. So this person has put some seeds down in the dirt, covered them up with dirt, and then here comes this little sprout out of the ground. Now this is a pumpkin seed, so it's growing a little pumpkin plant, and we can see the stem starting to come up. The plant grows down, and you can see the roots are growing down into the dirt. The plant grows up, so we've got the stem going up and the leaves going up, while the roots go down into the ground, into the dirt. 
it says the new plant starts to grow roots and leaves. The plant grows and grows. It grows down and it grows up. So it's sending more roots down into the ground and it's sending more leaves up. To grow, most plants need soil, water, air, and sunshine. The plant may make a flower. The flower makes seeds. It says many flowers have smells that attract birds and insects. Now we don't have any flowers up like this just yet. This is a tulip and they'll come up um, a little bit later in the spring. But I did notice in my yard a few kinds of flowers that come up in early spring are starting to come up. The flower may make a fruit. And you know what kind of tree that is. An apple tree. Many fruits have seeds inside. Remember when we cut open the apple and found the seeds inside? It says the pits in plums, cherries, and peaches are seeds. Each seed can grow into a plant. Now we have to remember, friends, there's many different kinds of seeds, and they grow into the same kind of plant that they came off. So you can't take a, a seed from a pumpkin and expect to get a cherry tree. If you plant a pumpkin seed, you're going to get another pumpkin plant. So let's come over here and we'll look at planting some seeds. Okay, so here I have our work table. I've got some seed packets just here. I wanted to show you some of the different kinds of seeds. Now, you have seen marigold seeds because we planted some like this in the fall. I'm going to dump some of these out so you can see them. Look at there. They're kind of long and dark with a little white part at the end. Then I'm going to plant some alyssum. Alyssum looks like this when it grows into a flower. But these seeds look completely different. Look at these. <laughs> they don't want to come out. See how small they are? They're very small. They're tiny and brown, but they still grow into a flower, just like the marigold seeds do. So we're going to take these seeds and put them in our special pot of wonderfulness right up here. You might remember when we planted our marigolds in the fall, how we did this. We sprinkle them in the dirt. I'm going to pick up these alyssum seeds, plant those in the soil too, just like this. Maybe I'll pour in a few more. How does that sound? We'll have lots of flowers. There. Now, just like the child in the story, we have to um, cover up the seeds so that they're nice and warm and safe in the dirt. So I'm going to use my special fork, just a plastic fork, and I'm going to stir them in a little bit, just like this. There. Now they're tucked away in the dirt. And now what do they need? Well, we know seeds need water to grow, so I'm going to pour a little bit of water to help them grow. Just like that. And then when we put them in the greenhouse, they'll start to come up. We'll have to wait because they won't come up immediately, but we'll wait and see how they do. Now, we're also going to plant another kind of seed right here. We're going to grow this seed in our little greenhouse right here. Our greenhouse is going to go right on the window, and we're going to watch how the seed makes roots first and then the other parts of the plant. So I'm pouring some water on this paper towel, and then we're going to put some bean seeds on it. Just a few bean seeds, like this. Then we're going to slide this inside of here. Now I know there's no dirt, 
But we do have a paper towel that's nice and wet to keep them nice and hydrated. So we're gonna put them in like this. Oops, that one tried to escape. Like that, close it all up. And this greenhouse is gonna go up in the window and we'll be able to keep track of how our bean seeds grow. Now I have here, and you might wanna do this at home, you might want to make your very own um, journal of how our seeds do, because I'll show you um, a picture of them every day so you can see how they do. I'm gonna write my seed, that's just C, the D on the end, journal on the front so I know which one this is. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna draw a picture of what we did today. So I'm gonna open up this first page and just draw what I see in there. So I just have a paper towel in there, like this. And it's drippy, I should probably draw some little drips to show that I have water in there. And then I'm gonna draw my four little bean seeds. One, two, three, four. And really, that's all that's going on yet. I can't draw anything else. I can't draw anything green. There's nothing green happening yet. All I can draw is my four little bean seeds that I've planted. I'm also going to write on this side, I planted four seeds because that's exactly what I just did. Now in your journal, you can write that we planted four seeds and you can draw a picture just like this. And then tomorrow, we'll have to find out what happens. Now I'm gonna put a little one right here in the corner. So I remember that this is day one of my bean seed journal. Otherwise, we might not know how many days it takes for our seeds to grow. Finally, I have a monkey. And the monkey is going to help us grow some seeds. In this little bag, I have some grass seeds. And we're going to put them right here on top of the monkey's head. There's dirt inside of his head. Just like this. And we're going to stir them in with our special stirring fork. Just like this. Ta-da! Give them a teeny bit of water for good measure. There we go. And voila! We'll put the monkey over there on the plant shelf in the nice, well, sunlight kind of, and we'll see how they do. And pretty soon, hopefully, our monkey is going to grow some hair. Well, that's all the time we have for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed our time with our seeds. We'll have to check back tomorrow and see how they're doing. But for now, bye-bye.